What's going on guys, Travis Kennedy here, owner of Kennedy Defensive Solutions. This video I'm going to talk about rifle slings, specifically single point versus a dual point sling setup. Let's go. All right, first thing sling I'm gonna touch on is the single point sling. This is a sling that I use most of the time. Specifically, this sling right here is a single to dual point sling. All right, it's a mag pull sling. I really like this thing. Um, understand that there's limitations to both. This is a dual point sling. This is a VTAC dual point sling. Okay, has retention here. You could tighten it, loosen it, etc. But first I'm gonna talk to John, the single point sling, okay? It has limitations, it has pros. The biggest uh, pro I find is maneuverability with the weapon, the efficiency, how I can move it freely without any obstructions with the dual point sling. Um, basically, kind of its downfall is the lack of retention that the dual point sling offers. Um, however, for me, the one I, reason I like the Magpul one is clips on tight, has a locking mechanism here. So if I were to bump it at all, it doesn't come off. Also this piece, if I wanted to switch it to dual point, I can, I just unlock it here and I could just clip it on to my rail system right here. The Picatinny rail attachment for my sling. Now I have a dual point sling setup. So I have the versatility of both, best of both worlds, okay? For most of my stuff, for most of my drills, especially if you're law enforcement or military and you're doing close quarters combat, I think my preference, my experience, my background, the single point sling comes into play. Um, it's more versatile moving through a dynamic situ uh, environment because I can move it easily, especially if I wanted to switch shoulders. I could switch shoulders very easily here, switch back. I could transition easily if I'm transitioning my pistol, bring my rifle back up smooth without any obstructions whatsoever if I were to use a single point, or excuse me, a dual point sling. However, where I see limitations of this is the ability to retain it. Okay, if you don't have any type of retention system, then this gun is just freely flop, could be flopping around. If I were to have to take, put hands on somebody, and have to move the, the rifle out of the way, now it's just dangling without any type of retention. That could be cumbersome. If I were to have to climb over something, then I would have to have the ability to retain it. My experience in the past is if I'm wearing body armor with a, a, pl a plate carrier, et cetera, I would put it to my side and I would have a bungee attachment. I would just bungee it, which would just bungee it to my side right here as well, okay? But the beauty of this single to dual point sling, if I wanted just to here, I could put my, if I want to put it behind my back, I can. I can just put it right here and I just tighten it. And I can just, now it's slung on my back. Dual point sling. Okay. Highly recommend this one. Okay. Here, come back. Now I want the versatility of the single point. I have it now. Make sure you lock these things. Put your arm back through it. Now you're set. And people ask me, hey, well, how do you set this thing up? what uh, a <clears throat> stock attachment to use or sling attachment to use. And I use this, again, it's Magpul ambidextrous sling. This thing free floats behind the buttstock. A lot of times they're out there, they have the fixed ones where it just stays in one position. Um, this one I find easy. This one's nice, maneuvers freely, no obstructions whatsoever, easy to switch shoulders, um, easy weapon manip manipulation. That's why I love this thing. And I noticed with this model, specifically the Magpul sling, that if we do have a fixed sling attachment point where they're hard, these things tend to wear. 
Okay, and I've, I've done it in the past where it's worn out so bad, every time I clipped it on, it wasn't fully locked and the rifle would fall off. So just be cognizant of that. I highly recommend this thing. I'll put links below to all this kit so you can look at it yourself um, and check it out as well. Okay. Now, the dual point sling, this is the VTAC Viking sling, okay, very standard sling, okay, you could tighten it here, it tightens the sling, or this piece you just loosen and loosens the sling. How I like to set up on my rifle dual point sling, a lot of times you'll see people up here with QD mounts, they clip it up to the stock and the rail. I like to put it behind into the same place I put my single point sling because I just like it, my, my slings to be a little bit tighter as well. And I just use these, I don't have uh, QD mounts. If you have QD mounts, all, everything's the same. Okay, just a different attachment point. Here, clip it on. Now it's ready to go. Now, for me, like I said, I like my slings a little bit tighter, okay? So when I go to present here, I use my sling to kind of bear down against and I have more control over this rifle as well if it's nice and tight, okay? I can engage here. Where this comes into play, the pros for these, the dual point sling is weapon retention is great. It does offer some stability when I'm rapid firing, depending on how tight you like it. Um, especially if I need to go off gun and then you put hands on somebody, I could do that. Okay, I could come off here. What I like to do, put it under my right arm and then I just go ahead and I can tighten it down behind my back. And that's what I like to do. That's from my experience, tighten it down right here. Now I could put hands on somebody if I have to, or if I'm going through prisoner handling or cuffing procedures, or if I need to climb over uh, an obstacle, I just go ahead and secure it to my back. You know, I use these a lot of, in a lot of maritime operations, in my experience, or a land warfare setting where I'm traveling or hiking or moving on a far distance, I'm using the dual point sling. That's why I fall back into the single to dual point that has that versatility, that way I don't have to keep switching out slings. How I loosen this thing, here, I just loosen it, okay, it just loosens up. I can go back into put my, put it underneath my right arm, or excuse me, my left arm, armpit, okay. Keep in mind, all right, when I, I like to have it so my stock, look at my stocks at, just kinda near the notch of my, uh, my sternal notch here. That offers me good maneuverability, good flex, uh, flexibility with the gun. Okay, when I go to present, it's all nice and tight. When I lift up the gun here, it already falls in line in my shoulder pocket right here. There's not a lot of travel, not a lot of space. So when I go to present, it's right there. Hi, ready? Everything's nice and tight. Where I could punch out a little bit, gives me a little bit of clearance here. Not too much clearance, not too loose. Just enough to lift up, cheek weld, Drive it back into position. Here, low ready, I can drive it up. Okay. So understand the pros and cons for these two slings. My personal preference, a lot of people ask me, why do you like to do it? There is why, I'm, my go-to is always this sling here, because it offers me best of both worlds, especially for um, retention. That's in the bottom line for me is with the kind of the main difference between single and dual is the retention abilities. Um, when I'm out here, when you're training out here in the flat, kind of flat range, working uh, weapon manipulation drills, combat shooting, uh, my preference is, is this. And a lot of times, my, my experience is I switched over based off mission, based off environment. Um, so it all kind of mission dictated how I like to run my slings. And But I was attuned to both. Okay, don't if you want to switch it up, make sure you're trained to both and you know e how each sling operates and the limitations of each and the pros of, of both slings. All right. All right, we're going to go out and test these out. We're going to go out and try, we're going to shoot bo with both of them so you guys can get a visual on uh, the pros and cons of each.
Okay, now we're gonna, I'm just gonna go over, show you guys a few drills. Just watch me how I manipulate with this. This is the, I'm using the dual point sling, okay? So that way you guys can get a visual on how each, how the weapon falls, especially when I do transitions, so just watch. Here, I'm doing high ready, punch out. Here. Low ready. Transition. Bring the rifle up. So it falls in a little different. It falls a little higher for me, especially with the dual point versus the, the single point. Okay. When I go to lift it up, it's a little different because now I got this sling kind of in the way. But if I were to just use the single points, it's up there. Now I can grab the magwell kind of freely without this obstruction. Realize that. Okay. Bring the rifle up. One more time. Safe it. Rifle up. So here, when I'm switching shoulders with this thing, punch out. You'll see guys here reach up. They put their left hand through the sling because they can't do it otherwise. Come around their face. Come back. Safe it. And they can put their hand back through again. With the single point, you don't have to do that. You can just easily freely maneuver back and forth. That's one of the reasons why I like the uh, single point because of the versatility. One more time. Fire, I want to switch shoulders. Right hand goes up to the magwell. I slide my left hand through, dip it forward. Now I'm free and clear. Come back. And I can put my arm through it again. Okay. I'll show you the limitations with the, uh, the mag change. So sometimes with longer rifles, you see people with the sling attachment way up here. Uh, why I like it further back is now that I don't have to worry about the sling getting in my way when I go for the mag change, no obstructions whatsoever. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Get bolt locked, come back, mag release, get the mag out. See now it's really not in my way whatsoever here. Okay, in tug, rotate over, back on it. All right. One more time with the transition here. Safe it. Bring the rifle back up. See right here, see another thing? They have to be caught except with the dual point sling is when you bring the rifle back up, you have to really get it out of the way here. All right, if I don't clear it, look, it's gonna start catching on my neck, catching in here. We don't want that. How I do this, it's the same way for single point as well. Dip it to the side, to the right, or I'm a right-handed shooter, so either way, opposite if you're a left-handed shooter, and then bring up the rifle. All right, so now let's let's take a look at uh, the single point sling. All right, so now I have on the uh, single point sling, uh, the single to dual point sling. I'm gonna show you some drills on how the weapon manipulates and moves with the single point sling. This is my uh, the favorite sling to do these uh, combat drills. Okay, just going from the high ready here. Punch out, here. If I wanna transition, falls. Falls freely, watch how I bring the rifle back up. Again, it's a lot easier than the dual point sling, just dip and it ro rotates over. Specifically with this ambidextrous sling attachment, the gun just moves freely. It's easy, very easy maneuver. If I were to switch shoulders, just watch I switch. All I gotta do is dip right there. Don't have to worry about moving my, swimming my uh, left arm through a sling at all here. Bring it back. It's all right there. Don't have to worry about doing this. So it's much more fat. It's a lot faster and it's a lot more fluid. That's why I like it. Watch some of the limitations when I go to transition here. Here, I land, now, it, now it just dangles. It. When I let go of it, now it's just dangling. Possibly hit myself in the groin. That doesn't feel good. Huh? Here, for whatever reason, if I have to Maneuver it around my back. Again, if I have to walk, now it's just now it's just dangling here, moving around kind of floppy, which is kind of it's we don't like that. 
you know, for ice shooters, we don't, we don't want that. They do make uh, belt attachments. Like I said, if you didn't have a piece of bungee, they do make belt attachments where this just kind of falls in line. It's like a little hook and it holds it right there for you. All right. I'll put a link below so you guys could check that out as well. Um, it's an interesting piece of kit. I've used it before. It does uh, come in handy time and place if it's applicable to you and your training. One more time. Switch shoulders. Come back here. Show you the mag change. Okay. Now I really don't have any type of obstruction whatsoever because the sling's all back here. Okay. Now it's nice and smooth. Drop the mag in, tug. So it's so really a lot more fluid, a lot faster. A lot, I'm just a lot more personally comfortable with the single point sling. Um, not to say that one is better than the other. Just try it out yourself. Try both, see what you like. Or you know, I recommend have both. Own both slings and work them both throughout your training so you can become proficient with both slings. And hell, if you want a one-stop shop, just get one of these and now I can just clip it. Now I'm, now I'm done. Now I have a dual point sling. That easy. Okay, you don't have to buy multiple slings whatsoever. Try those out, work both sling systems. Comment below, let me know what you think, whether you like the single, whether you like the dual point sling. I do offer some online training, hang on basics. Check it out, I'll put the link below as well. Please click like and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Train safe, teams.